up everybody it's the homie truth teller the street reporter and a lot of people be asking me about little dirt a lot of people be asking me about old block too but uh recently a lot of people been asking me is it an issue going on with some of the bds and little dirt um I mean, I don't think everybody is Lil Dirk centric. I don't think everyone's in love with him, you know. But uh, I can't verify that it's an issue going on. I do think some people had they feelings, you know. Dirk then kind of made it out of that hole, and I'm pretty sure some people feel like, man, it's a war going on in the hood. But he could supply a little more pistols in the neighborhood. Maybe supply the brothers with some money in the hood. Maybe jump in some of the brothers' videos. Maybe post some of the brothers' videos on his. Instagram, support them more, promote them more. You know, I would think people had those underlying feelings. But at the end of the day, it's not Lil Durk's job to make you rich and famous. You got to understand that no matter how rich and famous he gets, that's not his job, buddy. When he was working at Walmart in the hood or working at that McDonald's in the hood, he wasn't coming home giving you half of his checks. He ain't finna do it when he rich. You know, you got to understand that King Von didn't wait for that. King Von took an opportunity and he ran with it. Hell, he couldn't even be around Dirk for a lot of that shit. So he had to really understand the business and run with this shit, you know. So I think some people probably feel a certain way about that. I think a lot of people kind of think that. And the reason people asking that is because recently a video went viral on the Internet of a live uh, that included Memo 600 and um, 600 Breezy, whatever kind of talking, they were sneak dissing, they were saying shit. I can't really say they were talking about Lil Durk, even though I think s some of it might have been meant towards Durk, but I didn't really feel like it was meant towards Durk. I think it was meant towards the book of 600 more. Uh, I think they got an underlying issue between those camp those guys. That's why I'm not sure if this OTF shit really family like people say. Because Booker clearly was throwing shots at Memo 600, Breezy, E Day, all those guys saying they ain't did enough for 600 to claim in it. That's his shit, him and his brother. And we seen that live. But recently, Memo 600 and Breezy had a live where, you know, it seemed like they were talking about Booker, you know, saying he snuck in the trenches for like 30 minutes and shit like that that and that's what it clearly seemed like so i don't know if this to the point where it's like turmoil or people want to blink each other but i do think it's an issue in there you know it money shit real you know niggas out here fighting for little dirt attention and shit you know but um this shit crazy i'm gonna keep you updated on this uh subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you hit the like button i'm good on the donations and happy father's day to everybody out here you know i appreciate all the father's day comments and all kind of shit y'all dope as hell man don't ever forget all y'all my motherfuckers man i want y'all to remember that it's the homie truth teller the street reporter but it's official i can't confirm that it's an issue but i do think Everybody not that happy with the dirt. It's the homie truth teller, the street reporter. Now get out of here.